Hello everybody, how are you doing? Dr. John is back with more Pokemon Yellow. And in the previous episode, after defeating the challenge of Nugget Bridge, we got ourselves a new member to the team, Charmander, one of the three original starters. And as you can see, before actually starting this episode, I realized the to with Pokemon Center. Oops. So, uh, before going on to this road and completing it, because that's basically what we are going to do in this video, there's really nothing new Pokemon to show here, at least not anything that I'm planning to capture. But, the other episode that I'm planning to do today, after I've done with this one, that's a bit different story. However, I'm saving that as a surprise, so I'm going quickly back to Pokemon Center, so hold on a second. Okay, got back from Pokemon Center, and let's, by the way, hope that the video codec is now correct, so there won't be any sort of weird glitch, graphical glitch, happening again. I don't remember, did I already apologize about that in the previous episode, or was the previous episode the one that the glitch occurred? But anyways, I apologize, and here, on this route that I can't remember, damn me, he, there's actually a chance to skip quite a few of these trainers here, if you know how to move around here. And also, you can get on one certain item from here a little bit sooner than you are actually supposed to. Anywho, the first trainer, based on this right work, I'd say he's a hiker, so he's probably gonna have some sort of a strong rock type Pokemon. I'm willing to bet, so. As a Sapner, let's. Actually, I'm gonna be a little bit riskier, because if he's gonna start out with rock Pokemon, no matter high level it is, Bulbasaur is going to kex his ass. Kex his ass. Wow, that was a weird way to say it. Anywho. Of course, if he starts with fighting type Pokemon, then I could be in trouble, because, okay, Bulbasaur is resistant to fighting type, but... Yeah, fighting types can actually deal a nasty amount of damage. Now he sends out an Onyx. Okay, of course we don't have Wine Whip yet, but Leech it should do good enough. Unless he does that! Spam attacker! Okay, screw it. Monkey, you go out there and show some monkey rage. Yeah, you do that. Let's see how much that helps ya. Low kick. Bam, bitch. And oh, come on, die already. There we go. Down it goes. Bulbasaur crew level. Bulbasaur learned wine with finally. And Monkey also crew a level, although it seriously doesn't need to go any higher, cause I'm not seriously planning to use Monkey that much longer, actually. As sad as this, Monkey is actually pretty soon starting to run out of its usefulness soon enough. And here, I'm gonna save here, just in case I accidentally press one of my direction buttons a little bit too long, and I screwed this up, because... This fighter right here, this boy, you do not want to fight him. Why? Because I kinda need to spare this guy if I want to demonstrate the one thing that I'm planning to do in the next episode. That certain glitch that I already meant was hinting on at the Radiant Forest. This kid is in a key position. Anywho, continue. Yana leaving that to the next episode. Next we got... Ah, a chick. Okay, I can live with that. 
Let's see what you got. Ah, all right. Pickers. Okay, let's see. Oh, horn attack. That's kind of horn attack is a little bit annoying as that thing has a bad tendency to actually be getting quite a lot of critical hits. Now let's see if I can crawl down this thing's attack a little bit then Bulbasaur might actually be able to even take this thing on and you're really using a double kick? Wow! Um, not a smart one, are ya? Bulbasaur is resistant to that and with all due respect, double kick is actually kinda weak fighting type move, unless I recall absolutely wrong, and oh my dear god! That's what I meant, that's why horn attack is so annoying, it can gain random critical hits of the wasu whenever it got them once. Uh, okay, Volter, you go out there and fight that bastard. <laughs> that does jack crap to us now! Plus, you have a lead sheet on, so... You're screwed, buddy. You're really screwed. Thundershock! Come on, no critic. Okay, thank god. I was gonna say if this thing is going to get two crits in a row. Come on, come on. Yeah! Down it goes! Next is going to be an Nidoran female. I'm uh, gonna keep both her out there and let's. Paralyze this thing first, makes this fight a hell of a lot more easier. Like so. We paralyze then. Hmm. Let's actually give a Charmander time out there just because he kinda deserves some screen time. Ouch. So hey Charmy, I dare me to you to get hit. Ember! Wow, that was actually kinda of nice. Damn it, oh god. No, no, no. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, thank god. Actually, can double kick even crit ever? I. I'm recalling that it actually cannot crit. And you're still stuck on doing that? Wow. You suck. Oh, almost. <laughs> Crow. Yeah, that's gonna help you a lot. I'm using a special attack on you, you dumbass. Down it goes. And with the beat it delays. I'm going to go quickly heal once again, so excuse me for another minute. Okay, got back here and I actually need to make a quick apology on something, um, while I was actually heading back to Pokemon Center, and yes, I know, I could have used my potions, but I really want to save those potions and my money for the gym battle, just in case. Anywho, as I was traveling to the, the Pokemon Center, I realized that actually, the, the next episode, isn't gonna be on the glitch, although I said so, it's going to be the episode after that, because in the next episode, I'm actually going to do one more thing that we're actually kind of, okay, not required to do before going to the gym, but I like to do before going to the gym, and after that, fighting against and hopefully winning against the gym leader. Anywho, continuing on on this road, Again, I'm gonna bet this is a hiker and... Well, let's see what he got. Pokemon Collector, huh? And yes, I know, I'm not reading the lines l like I used to, but... You gotta give me some slack, I had got an exhausting... Ex exhausting day today, there we go. God, pronunciation failed to the max. And you are gonna turn out Geodude. Okay, you are screwed. Take a look, this is why Geodude is definitely not the best choice for her special defense. 
much will how much damage a single wine whip does to it. One shot. Your dude goes down in one shot from wine whip. It's that weak against special attacks and especially the type that has type advantage. So yeah, Bulbasaur is going to gain a hell of a lot more levels here, and I'm actually glad it can get it here, because Bulbasaur is going to be a life savior in the gym battle coming up in the next episode. So I kinda wanna build him up and even level him if I can. Ooh, matchup. Uh, should I do... that thing is really annoying as it likes to spam the fucking Karate job, so to be on the safe side, I'm gonna first paralyze it with Voltaire. Like so. Yup, it's gonna spam it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Now I'm gonna hope that it's paralyzed on the next turn and throw monkey there. Let's see whose karate job is the best. I was hoping for Paralyzer, thank you, but I guess not. Come on, come on, give me Ultra Grip. Ooh, nice! Come on, come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you. And yes! And down it goes. Okay, yeah, matchups are really annoying to fight against. And using a Geodude again, okay. Go out there, Bulbasaur, and beat the living crap out of it. I actually should start taking Charmander to the front. He's kinda slee... Kinda starting to fall majorly behind with levels. Come on... Yes! Very nice. A level 16, only one level away from evolving. Heck yeah! Sure as hell I got you! And actually here, let me just quickly change the setup so that Charmander goes wrong, just so he can get some experience. Now, here was the thing that I mentioned when I said that you can actually get one item before a little bit sooner than you're supposed to. See this guy? As you can see, he's blocking an otherwise open road to that item there, and there's that tree over there. Those trees that are made with that sprite can actually be cut down with a certain HM ability. We are going to get that in the next town, but you can actually trick it so that you can get it right here right now. All you need to do is to make sure that you fight this guy like I did from this side, and then go oh, in front, on the front of him or on top of him, however you want to wheel it. Go here, step up, and... Yep. Like that, you can actually create yourself an opening to get in there. Anywho. Oh really, you just got a girlfriend and that makes you cool. Yeah, right. And right at that. Charmander might have been bad choice. Oh well, if I can actually get this thing a burn status, then it's going to be really helpful because burn is one really damn useful status in flexion. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit! Oh, thank god! I swear to god, rather than with their goddamn crits. Uh... Alter, go out there, please. Critical hit! Yes! Very nice! Ekans, huh? Alright, Charmander, back to the front. Gain some experience from this one. Emba. Or not. God, I hate Ekans for that. Personally, I like Ekans as a Pokemon, but... 
Yeah, they're really annoying to fight against. <laughs> yeah, that does jack rat. Oh, that got it missed. And you're lead seated. You're screwed. Roll it down a little bit so that even those poison stingers won't do even that little damage. Now let's see if I can actually finish this up with all of us somewhere. Um, ah, never mind. Should have known better. Sure, go back out there. I swear to God, if you... Oh, I was about to say, if you freaking poison me... Okay, you are going down on the next one. And, quick attack. Well, bitch. Commander crew level. Okay, now after that, let's claim our prize, and that is TM19, which should be. Uh, let me see. A seismic dust. Ooh yeah! This can actually be really. Really cute would move the ditch to a Pokemon that is on fairly high level in your team because Seismic Dust is very interesting. Fighting type move, however, I'll get to that once I visit the Poke Center again, so excuse me for a minute again. Okay, back here and now let's move on. And we can skip that, this one we cannot skip, and unless I recall rock, you really want to actually have a Charmander in front of this, because I think this chick has only like two weak Crash-type Pokémon. Let's see. Let's see if I was on the money. I was on the money. Oddish, um, Oddish, um, not really that good of a grass poison type Pokemon because very slow, not too great of a stat, and yeah, also, unless I recall absolutely wrong, its move pool isn't that good either. I guess it learns only a couple or a few good moves, but even those are fairly high level, so... It's not really a crash type I recommend. I... I'm sticking with Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is like... At least one of the best crash types you can have. In this generation, at least. Down it goes. Darmander going up with levels. And Pitchy, that's gonna be Voltaire's territory. Chuck him to the death. Fried chicken. Yeah. And we fried pigeon, but whatever. And a dish once again. Charmander barbecue. Come on, come on. Well, anyway, now that I look at Adish's pride, now sorry if I actually sound dumb, but is Adish actually supposed to be like an? Onion or something, cause, I don't know, in that sprite, he, it kinda looks like some sort of weird ass onion. I know, my head's completely messed up, but, yeah. Okay, disregard that comment. I'm just talking about random shit while this fight is going on, because nothing much is happening, and we're actually getting quite close to the end of this episode here. We've reached the house at the end of this road, and once we get inside to build things, that's going to be the episode for today. Anywho... There we go, we defeated the 
final tra required trainer here, and now uh, we are here at Sea Cottage Bill lives here. Bill! Ah, that's the guy Car our rival was talking about earlier with me. Let's see the guy. I don't see any Bill, but I see this weird-ass Pokemon here. Let's see... What's your name, little buddy? Oh my dear god, it speaks! It's a demon Pokemon! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Okay, I'm kidding. Call me Bill! I'm True Blue Pokemaniac. Hey, What's with that look, skeptical look? I'm not charging you, I screwed up an experiment and got combined with Poke with a Pokemon. So you were conducting an experiment from the Bly movie? So how about it? Help me out here. I'm tempted to go with the epic no, but I'm gonna go instead with the modest yep. When I'm in the teleporter, go to the Go to my PC and run the cell separation, Mrs. Star. I'm not again, I have no clue what kind of accent I'm trying to give the guy. Or the thing. Whatever. Anywho, I'm gonna go into this computer and... Stay tuned for Pikachu's epic what the... WTF face. Seriously, it's freaking hilarious. It always... It almost always cracks me up every time I see it. Just watch. Gonna press here and... <laughs> Pikachu has face! I'm sorry, that expression is just so freaking funny. Yeah, thanks, bud. I owe you what? So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got a... I got... I've got to thank you, there. Jesus Christ. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. SS Ticket. That cruise ship, SSN, is in Spermillion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dogs. Why don't you go instead of me? Will do, sir. Thank you for the ticket. And uh, Pikachu, you revived from the shock yet? Oh, don't scratch your cute little head on that, Pikachu. You'll... It's human messing up with the laws of nature. You wouldn't understand. And quite frankly, you don't want to understand. Okay, let's go and... Yeah, I actually think that's good enough for one episode. We fought few trainers, we met Bill here, can't our actual next key item, which I think I'm gonna actually put on the update. Update bio of the... The LP just in case because the key item section has been kinda empty for now. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And until the next exciting episode of Pokemon Yellow, Dr. John, thank you guys for watching and saying bye bye everyone. See you later!